Okay, here I'm going to show you guys how to make a different type of, it's really a three-dimensional plot, but it's plotted in a two-dimensional way. So it's similar to plot 3D that I've talked about in basic plots, giving similar information, just a different way of showing it. And that's a contour plot or a density plot. Okay, so this is actually the same function that I plotted previously in plot 3D. Okay, and I'll quickly plot that here just so you can see what it looks like. This plot doesn't look great, by the way. I'll show you how to fix it. But what this is showing here with the contours, which are the lines that are drawn, and the colors, the colors are representing the value that would be uh, calculated at the different x and y values when you plug it into this function here. Okay. And this, by the way, this is the function. And then this is the range that you want it to evaluate this function at in the x and the y direction. Okay, so again, notice the syntax here for contour plot. This uh, plot doesn't look great. It's got a lot of jagged edges, and that's because Mathematica is trying to run efficiently. So it's not evaluating this plot at that many points. And by points, I literally mean different, it, it chooses the number of x and y uh, coordinates or sets it wants to evaluate uh, the function at to actually draw these curves and determine the color. You can increase the number of points that it evaluates the function at, which gives you a more accurate plot by specifying something called plot points, or you can use max recursion. Um, the more that you uh, specify, the longer it's going to take Mathematica to draw a particular plot. But notice if I specify plot points to be something like 50, which is more than it was defaulting to, I get a better looking, smoother plot. So if you get something that looks like this, it doesn't seem right, try messing with plot points, okay? Notice this plot, it whites out here, and that's because um, it's actually saturating. So this plot, the Z value increases so rapidly that um, it doesn't have a wide enough range basically to uh, to give the values in this white region. Uh, I might be able to fix that by specifying plot range all. Yeah, if I specify plot range all, you can see now it's actually fitting the full range of Z values, the full dynamic range of Z values here. But because the Z values are so high here, it doesn't have enough contour lines to actually show uh, <laughs> all the interesting behavior of the function, okay? So if I look down here, there's some more things that I can do to fix the look of the plot here. Another thing that I can specify is the number of uh, contour lines. And notice if I start typing, uh, or contours, if I can type correctly. If I start typing this in, I can actually see some of the possible syntax and i think i can up this even more if i want okay so if i go way high i can start seeing uh, some of the other um, values in the function okay now i've got 100 contour lines okay but most of the plots that you guys will try to make will probably not have uh, a function that is this difficult to plot but this is a nice one for showing again some of the behaviors of contour plot another option uh, is to use density plot it's similar. It just shows the color variation or it uses colors to show uh, the changes in the height or the Z value of this function rather than plotting lines. OK, so again, I can evaluate density plot. I can play around with plot points to get this looking smoother and better. OK, um, and the last thing I'm showing you here is that if I say I want the function equal to a specific value it will just plot one particular contour line so this contour line here or these contour lines specify the x and y points where this function is equal to 0 0.02 so that might be useful for some applications notice the syntax here it is a double equal sign okay so that's how contour plot works it's another nice one if you wanted to say plot the strength of an electric field around some object or something like that. You'll often see these in FET sims, where again, you're trying to represent the change in some value in two dimensions with colors and lines.